Halloween is that time of the year when many people pick out costumes of different characters. Some costumes are scary, while others are not. But Halloween is not just trick-or-treating in the neighborhood, getting free candy, or even going to a party. It's been amped up even more to include haunted houses and scare zones that people pay good money to attend. Events such as Universal Halloween Horror Nights and Hollow Scream at Bush Gardens have become staples for people who are looking for a good scare. So today we count 15 ghost sightings from haunted restaurants around the world. Number 15. The 1790 Inn, Savannah, Georgia. This is a restaurant and hotel located in Savannah, Georgia. A visiting tourist managed to capture a photo just outside of the dining room which shows a reflection of a woman. The problem? There was no one on the first floor and the restaurant was closed. Who could this be? It is alleged that the woman in the photo is the ghost of Anna, who passed away at the facility after she was extremely heartbroken. There are two variations of how she actually died. In first variation, Anna died after she threw herself out of the second floor window. In the second variation, she was beat to death by her older husband after he found out that she had a crush on a young sailor. Number 14, Ghost Lounge, Phoenix, Arizona. This goes without saying, and it's safe to say that the name gives it away. <laughs> the Ghost Lounge is a restaurant located inside of the San Carlos Hotel. Patrons have made claims of seeing a ghost that appears as a cloudy figure of mist. They have also claimed that there are breezes that follow which they cannot explain. The ghost is in question is believed to be Leon Jensen. Jensen died back in 1928. She was only 22 years old. She jumped to her death from the roof of the San Carlos Hotel. It is believed that she committed suicide after she learned that her boyfriend was messing around with another employee at the hotel. The establishment was purchased back in 1927 by Dwight D. Hurd and Charles Jensen and was built as an elite hotel which attracted celebrities such as Clark Gable, Mae West, and Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn Monroe to name a few. Number 13. Muriel's Restaurant, New Orleans, L.A. The restaurant is a hub for a number of paranormal investigations and also many ghost tours. A majority of the supernatural events are from the seance lounge, which include voices, shadows, and knocks on the wall. A woman and her brother took a ghost tour and were able to capture a photo of a woman's ghost. In a review on TripAdvisor, she said, We took photos at both these locations at night on a cell phone camera. Later for dinner at the Creole Queen, we went over the pictures and were stunned to find a ghostly figure of what looks like a woman sitting near the empty table at Muriel's Haunted Restaurant. One of the ghosts is believed to be Pierre Antoine Laparde, Jordan, who died by suicide on the second floor of the building. The restaurant does not believe that the ghosts are a threat in that, in fact, are very entertaining. Those who have seen or felt a present have never felt threatened, and instead, we've welcomed an old kindred spirit to dine. Number 12, Catfish Plantation, Waxahachie, Texas. Owned by the Bakers, this Texas restaurant has a history of being haunted by spirits and has the slogan, Serving Souls and Spirits. People have reported some scary activities that occurred, which include blue lights, levitating items, and a bride that has been seen looking out the window. It was found out that the restaurant was haunted when Mrs. Baker entered the building and smelled fresh coffee. This was strange considering Mrs. Baker was the only one with a key at that time and was the only person to lock up the night before. Things became even more obvious after that point. Restaurant staff witnessed flying coffee cups and food that was flying out of nowhere. Since the ghost of Caroline did not like to have alcohol in her home, wine glasses were frequently smashed. Once, a seance was held at the restaurant. Another ghost named Elizabeth appeared. She made her presence known by clinking dishes and knocking on the walls. She also visually showed herself through an apparition. Elizabeth is also known to follow customers home sometimes. A third ghost named Will contributes to a number of cold spots that are felt throughout Catfish Plantation. He is seen dressed in overalls and likes to spend most of his time on the front porch. Police officers have also reported seeing Will appear and vanished in front of them at the restaurant. 
Number 11. Billy's Bar and Grill, Aberdeen, W.A. Could the restaurant be haunted by the ghost of a notorio notorious serial killer? If you decide to dine at Billy's Bar and Grill, you may also be eating with other guests. It is believed that the restaurant still has lingering spirits of sailors, prostitutes, and Billy. Billy Gull was considered to be one of the most notorious serial killers in the country. Gull was allegedly behind the killings of 130 men by shooting them and then taking their belongings. Afterwards, he threw their bodies in a trash chute that ultimately dumped them in the river. Individuals in the community were startled when they noticed a large number of floating dead bodies in the river. Since no one could directly link him to the murders, he got away with his crimes for a while. Eventually, he began to distrust his own partners and arranged to have them taken out. He was caught and given two consecutive life sentences in 1927. He died of various conditions that were linked to the complications from syphilis. To this present day, people have seen flickering lights, heard disembodied voices, and felt cold spots throughout the restaurant. Number 10. Jean Bonnet Tavern, Bedford, Pennsylvania. Jean Bennett Ta Bonnet Tavern is known as a haunted restaurant to guests and employees. Even visitors go to the establishment to see if they will face a ghostly encounter. One night, a group of friends decided to stay the night in one of the rooms, and when they went to the bar, one of the individuals felt a touch from someone. Another group member named Al Brinza joined his friends at the bar. Since he's a non-drinker, he decided to observe, observe what was going to happen on around them. When he looked in one of the doorways, he noticed a group that was wearing rough-looking clothing. This group was not from this time period, and within a few seconds, they vanished. The owner of the establishment, Melissa Jacobs, had multiple experiences at the attic apartment door. Every time she passed by the door, it would either be open or closed. This was strange to her considering there were no guests staying in the attic apartment. Number 9. St. James Hotel and Restaurant, Cimarron, New Mexico. This building has attracted notable people including Buffalo Bill, Doc Holliday, and Jesse James, to name a few. It's also known for having at least 26 killings happen there which has caused many spirits to still wander around. In one case, a guest was allegedly invited to play a poker game with a table of men who appeared to be real people. However, it was later proven that they were spirits. It is said that the second floor is the most active when it comes to paranormal activity. One of the most haunted rooms is room 18, which is where the ghost of Thomas James Wrights resides. He is territorial and angry, and he proved that when he pushed a former owner down. People have also said that there have been unexplained deaths that happened in the same room. He was murdered right outside his room after he won a poker game which gave him rights to the hotel. In room 17, it is believed that the ghost of Mary Elizabeth resides there. She's not as angry as Wright, however. Guests have heard non-stop tapping on the window when it's opened and have even seen the apparition of her. Number 8. The Brentwood Bistro, Little River, South Carolina. This restaurant is haunted by multiple spirits, and many strange occurrences have happened there. The things that employees and guests have witnessed are downright creepy and scary. The occurrences reported included include hearing a sigh, sighing voice in the walls, wine glasses falling off tables, seeing a face in the upstairs window. To name a few, back in 2010, a paranormal investigation team went out to the location to investigate the claims. Within a short period of time, a high amount of activity was present. The head investigator Lancaster said, Without a doubt, the Brentwood Wine Bistro is the most active location for paranormal activity that I have ever had the privilege of researching. Investigators witnessed moving objects, loud crashes, voices, and doors closing during their time at the restaurant. They also experienced their camera equipment shutting off and losing power. In one instance, a tall 
black, shadowy figure was seen walking just 20 feet in front of the investigation team. Number 7. Jimmy's World Grill and Bar, Lutton, United Kingdom. As of 2003, Jimmy's opened its first restaurant location in Birmingham. Since then, it has been a go-to place to get delectable world cuisine. Jimmy's opened its Lutton location in 2011, and it's considered to be a popular restaurant for couples and families. It seems to be popular among ghosts as well. In a video posted in 2013, it shows a customer moving from the table, followed by items moving all by themselves. The manager, Rehan Anwar, said, The incident was brought to my attention by a customer who was sitting a few tables away and heard a loud crash. When she turned around, there was nobody who sat at the table, which baffled her. In the video, you can see cutlery, a napkin, and the chair being moved by something that is unseen. Anwar further continued with, the suspected ghost or poltergeist has created a lot of interest among staff, and it makes locking up at night a little bit scary. Number 6. Maria Teresa's Albuquerque, New Mexico If you're headed out to visit Albuquerque and looking for a scare, you may want to grab a bite to eat at Maria Teresa's. It is considered to be the most haunted location in the area. A painting of a woman named Donna Josucita Salazar is situated in an area of the restaurant. In one scenario, a waiter decided to poke fun at the painting. Since then, the waiter fell down, dropped tape trays, or tripped every time he passed by the painting. In another scenario, People have heard the piano playing from the Armijo room, even when no one is there. The dining area is the most haunted place in the building. It was reported that the wait staff has seen apparitions in the mirrors, and customers have seen them as well. Sometimes, staff members have walked into the next morning to find table silverware moved around. Number 5. Chuck and Edna's Maid Right Restaurant, Cascade, Iowa. Main Right Restaurant has become a hotbed for paranormal activity. After experiencing a string of bizarre events, Pat Orr, the owner, decided to call upon ghost hunters. The call was prompted once the mind-boggling occurrences were finally caught on video. Orr said, Employees have been saying they've seen string things ever since the place opened, and I blew it off till I saw the video. What was shown on the video? The security footage showed a shadowy figure at the dishwashing station. The figure gradually transformed to look like a person before vanishing from the screen. Orr said, It looks like it's coming from underneath the cooler, goes across the floor, and up over the dishwasher. But, you see, I can't make a shadow here. I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. On another video, Stacks of styrofoam cups are seen falling off the shelves and even hitting one of the workers. Number 4. The New Talbot, West Bromwick, United Kingdom. The manager of the pub, A.J. Cohan, was in for a surprise when his iPhone mysteriously ended up missing. He realized his phone was gone after he finished cleaning the main room. To find out where his phone could have possibly gone, he checked the security video, which showed his iPhone disappearing from a chair in the early morning hours. Luckily, Kohan was able to retrieve his phone the next day. Kohan said, It was crazy when I watched back the footage. It, no one was near it. And then it just flies off the seat and across the pub. There's no explanation. The vibration function on my phone is broken. And there's no draft inside the pub. The disappearing iPhone wasn't the only strange event to happen at the pub. Staff members claim they have felt like they were being touched even while they were working alone. Who could this be? It is believed that this is the ghost of the previous landlord, Gary Stevens. He died from a heart attack back in 1993. 
The chair that the iPhone disappeared from happened to be Steven's favorite seat. Yomashir, Los Angeles, California. Number three. Yomashiro is an exquisite restaurant with spectacular views of Hollywood. Many people are able to use this as a venue for events such as weddings and other parties. This place is perfect to the point that you wouldn't want to leave, and apparently, the ghosts don't want to leave either. The ghost of a former bartender was allegedly seen a few times in the bar area. People have also heard crying sounds from a bride in the bridal suite. Caradine said, A woman in white has been seen up there. It doesn't stop there. It is believed that the previous property owner, Thomas O. Glover, still watches over the building and his ashes are buried in the courtyard. Number 2. Clifton's Cafeteria, Los Angeles, California. The woman in this photo is almost clear as day. However, this is apparently the ghost of the woman who appeared in this photo. Brett Shannon is the person credited with this photo, and at first, he thought that it was his partner, Doreen Parker. Seen in the image, to his surprise, it turned out that it was not her when he zoomed in. Shannon said, The other thing was that sh she was standing right next to me when I took the picture, so it didn't make any sense. The pair happened to be on site at the cafeteria when some renovations were being done. When they made their story known to the site workers, there was no shock factor. It became even more clear that there was a history of occurrences with the same ghost. Supernatural occurrences that happened there include orbs and ladders moving when no one is around. It is believed that the ghost is Terry Richmond was also Clifford Clinton's mistress. In 2011, her children... Number one. Child ghost in restaurant. Location unknown. Although the name of the restaurant was not specified, this is another restaurant that is apparently haunted. The person in the photo, whose name is Chris, did not disclose his location, but claims that a child made an appearance in the restaurant bathroom. There were no other people in the bathroom at the time the photo was taken. Chris said, the, the picture is of me fleeing from the restroom, trying not to have a picture taken of myself. When the person who took the picture showed me the result the next morning, I was shocked to see a figure in it that, 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 that could not have possibly... That, not have possibly even been there. In fact, the restaurant was not opened to the public yet. Chris said it was just him and I in the restaurant of a restroom of a restaurant that had not even opened its doors for customers. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. That was a uh, top 15 most haunted restaurants in the world. Perhaps his channel will be in the description. Let's try to get this video to 12 likes. Thank you for taking your time to view my videos, all you beautiful bastards.